I gather it's becoming a question as to where I might appear each week. Well, I'm somewhere I've never been before, which is at the top of the tower. And it's quite extraordinary standing up here and being able to see over the whole of Uppingham. I think the thing that strikes you immediately as you look out, and we'll make sure we give you some shots this morning, is just how rural our school is. And how, in, in a way, how protected we are from a huge amount that goes on in society at large, and certainly at the moment. It leads me to one of the things I wanted to talk to you about this morning. Um, which is the return to school. You'll know that over the last couple of weeks, we've been getting ourselves quite excited at the thought that we might get the three-year groups that are still in um, session back in school um, straight after half term for the last four weeks of the summer term. Well, sadly, the last few days seem to have been put paid to those plans, and I'm really disappointed about it. And I think standing up here, and I look out and have the middle behind me empty with none of you out there, playing and exercising and um, enjoying sport as we should in the summer term and seeing the empty quads and the empty buildings, it really does fill me with a great sadness that we can't get you here. So we'd really hoped that we might get back in session at the start of June and it seems that plan has now been laid to waste by factors beyond us. I know that we could have opened our school safely and I know we could have had you back here in a way which was really productive and would have allowed you something that I think is so important which is the social contact of your friends and the chance to get back into lessons and to see your teachers and to have those interactions that human beings value so much. Well, the decisions that have been taken probably are as much about politics as they are about health, and I think I probably oughtn't say more than that. I've not given up hope. My colleagues haven't given up hope. And we think we may be able to find a way still to get at least the lower sixth and the lower fifth back in school. As you probably know, the government have said that anyone in a state-maintained school should have some face time with their teachers. And you've had a lot of virtual face time over the last few weeks, and um, we seem to have adapted really well to that new way of doing things. But what I hope we can do is find a way where we can safely get those year groups back in school, have you in, um, in, in a place where at least you touch base with each other and upping them once more. I am also told that a number of you in the lower sixth are a little bit worried about how we might do the polys process this year. You're worried you'll be put into group Zoom or you may be just drawn out of a hat. Don't fear, we're getting really confident with this virtual Uppingham lark. And I think even if we can't have you back here for interviews one-to-one -one in my study or with a fearsome duo of Mr. Lady and Mr. Hicks, I think you'll find that we can do these things online. I absolutely want you to have the best process you can because I know how inspired you've been by the leadership shown by the years above you. And we want you to have the opportunity to show yourselves at your best. So as soon as we get back, I'm going to talk specifically to you in the lower six from chapel and explain what we're going to do in terms of that process. Although it's going to be online, I can tell you it'll be just as rigorous, just as challenging and hopefully just as productive as it has been for those who've had the conventional experience in school. You will be next year's leaders, taking us out of a situation and into a world where we don't yet quite understand what restrictions and parameters will be in place. So your leadership is going to be absolutely crucial. And we want you as a year group to feel you've had every opportunity to put yourself forward and show what you have in terms of potential, because next year we're not going to be able to do it without you. There's one very special group of people I want to thank this week, and that's you, the parents. This has all rather been thrust on you, your children at home, virtual Uppingham, my colleagues and I entering your home day by day and occupying your children's time. You've been there chivying, cajoling, encouraging, feeding, 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 I suspect, keeping everything going. Um, we really appreciate it. And your support in making it happen for your children, but also of us, is massively appreciated. Your kind words, your encouragement, the fact so many of you have taken the time to let me know personally, but also my colleagues know how valued our efforts have been. I hope you've enjoyed being drawn into the houses. They've really enjoyed having you. And I suspect, as always comes out of times of difficulty, there are real positives. And I hope many of you as parents know that we mean it when we say it's a partnership between home and school, and that you now feel far more involved and invested in the actual mechanics and machinery of the school. So Saturday saw us try our very first virtual parent-teacher meetings. I hope they went well for those of you um, who have children in the lower fifth and that you felt that you were able to touch base academically and get a real sense of your children's progress. I suspect also we're learning as the weeks go by that there are things that will stay with us in a very good way once the return to school happens. 
One of those may indeed be that we can run parent-teacher meetings online so that those of you who are busy or who live abroad, who are, are abroad, can have face-to-face -face time with teachers to talk through how the, your children are progressing. As the weeks have gone on, we've been able to refine Virtual Uppingham and make some adjustments and um, improvements that I think have enhanced the teaching experience and also the way that we schedule our, um, our, our work online. Um, given the fact that it now looks as if we're going to be stretching into next half term and probably for the fourth form they'll have all their lessons for the next half online because of the way things have evolved this week, I think it's really important that we look even more deeply at the way we're providing Virtual Uppingham. So during the course of this week, either later today or early tomorrow morning, in your inboxes will come a survey from the assistant head in charge of teaching and learning, um, Rachel Attenborough. She's really keen that we make the sorts of adjustments and improvements that we can to make the experience next half even better and even more rich. Because the one thing I want more than anything is that the pupils make as much progress as they can. Yes, of course, they're never going to be able to make the progress that they would if we were here in school with prep and everyone being able to operate at full capacity. But we've come as close as we can and I'm really proud of all that's been achieved in these last few weeks. So please, when you get that survey, um, don't ignore it. Fill it in and let us know what you think. And there's a box at the end for your suggestions and your thoughts. All constructive criticism is well received because ultimately we're all in this together. We want the next half of virtual Uppingham to be the best it can be. So thank you in advance for those responses during the course of the next few days. Well, here we are, entering the last week of a half term, where normally I'm in chapel exhorting you to keep it going and reminding you that it's not how you start, but how you finish that really matters. Well, actually, you started brilliantly this term. You've gone through a really strong middle section, and I know you're going to finish with a great crescendo, which is just what happens each week on Friday night is music night. And this week's um, edition was a really special occasion with our own taking centre stage, Mr. French, um, fresh from his world tour. Mr. Webster, as ever, you'll see um, splattered about with his musical playing all over the internet. And our new head of strings, um, who, again, plays a sensational piece for you to watch. Be sure to watch the Borth service. The chaplain, as ever, in his very thoughtful and creative way, has put together a service that shows the links between then and now, and I hope gives you a sense of the history of that occasion. Our YouTube channel has got ever more films appearing on there, and of course our Twitter feed is becoming ever more sophisticated, as Uppingham shows that it really is ready for the 2020s. So keep going through this week. Get your heads down and make sure that you finish things as well as you started them. My thanks for your forbearance and your hard work. My thanks also to my colleagues for their great work. And I've already thanked your parents who have been utterly brilliant throughout this process as well. So we'll let you know during the course of this week exactly what's happening after half term. But I think you can pretty much take it for granted that we'll be starting after half term with virtual Uppingham once more. So thanks for your part in that. Enjoy this week and have a really great break when the half-term holiday comes.